Hello and welcome back to Diablo 3 and the Reaper of Souls beta. My name's Lumen, this right here is Juniper the Crusader. She's absolutely beautiful and I think I'm in love with her. And right now we're going to continue our playthrough. I've got some soothing ginger tea with me, so I'm all set. <sighs> I can't wait. Now, I was considering going through all the conversation options, every single one, to see what the Crusader has to say to these different characters that we know and love. But that would take too long. It would take way too long because I, well, I tested it. I sat here for like five minutes recording, let's just say an introduction sequence of sorts where I actually went through all of these and man, was that a mistake. Now we did go and speak to both Deckard Kane and Leah about the Crusaders and I feel that's the most relevant conversation topic. One person, one NPC, that I do want to spend a lot of time talking to, however, is Cormac. So once we meet up with Cormac, the Templar, then we're definitely going to have some words with him. Because I want to see how he interacts with our Crusader character. That's going to be a lot of fun. With all that said, however, let's get out of here. Uh, or not. Not quite yet. I want to have a look if it is in fact true what you guys have told me. You can now disenchant white items. Not all of them, but most of them. They still need that level requirement on them, but it's kind of cool that you can now do that, and picking up white items is not a complete waste. Sell, sell, sell. Interesting things you say. I've also turned the voice volume up a smidge because I feel like it was a tiny bit softer. No one complained. I was waiting for complaints. I was actually kind of hoping for complaints. But no one did. It's okay though. I've done it regardless. Now, oh. I want to check in here to see if Leah has written any more in her journal. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? I'm getting very unlucky with these books. I actually went into Kane's place as well and there was nothing there and there's nothing here. Does that mean that I've perhaps just read those already? I guess that could be a thing. I mean, there's no reason for them to update their journals after just me having helped the blacksmith out. That's all that happened since the last recording, I guess. What the heck ever. Let's head out. I can't wait to open the northwest gate and head I into the Weeping Hollow. To promise me you'll take good care of whatever I sell you. And is it just me or did these items get a whole lot worse? Since the expansion at least. It feels like it. Spent all night alongside the wife, the Don't know if it's a thing. It could be. Hmm. Now this is the one person I want to speak to because he has rings. I'm happy to sell you. You've got to promise not to tell anyone he, where you got these goods from, okay? He had rings. Huh? In Vanilla Diablo, he always sold the best rings. And it was always a good idea to get a ring from this dude on a high or low level character. Huh. Oh, ooh, we got a new skill to test. Where is it? Pretty sure it's called Raw. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. Am I missing something? Oh, here it is. <sighs> when you block with hardened sense active, you explode with fury, dealing 45% weapon damage as fire to enemies within 15 yards. We're gonna give it a try, obviously, but it doesn't go there. It goes here. The thing is, I really, really, really like Slash. So this is gonna have to be super amazingly good for it to replace Slash for me. Uh, I know where the map is. And for the first time in a while, I'm paying attention to the music in Diablo, and it sounds like it's changed. It sounds like they got a whole new soundtrack up in there. But I might be imagining things. Hey, 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 come. Weeping mothers. Oh, wait, there we go. Look at my shield. What? It's on fire! Is that even safe? Well, 
Not for them, it seems. Not for the enemies. That is so cool. As is that. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh, this used to be one of uh, the most dull areas to play through always, but with a fresh class in a whole new game. Well, not a whole new game, but in a new game, it's a lot more fun. Ah, Crusader. It's going to take all my willpower to not just drop all my other classes and make ooh, 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 fear a Crusader at launch. All my willpower. Did that blind actually work? It did. Wow. I imagine that that fear would be really bothersome at higher levels of play. Nightmarish. And if I'm not mistaken, that's also one of the Witch Doctor skills. Oh, and you guys have let me know that the Crusader can dual wield two handers? Really? I thought their speciality was the whole sword and board thing. The whole one-hander and blocking thing. It's great that they can diversify a little bit, that there's some variety. But I didn't expect that. Okay, why is it taking so long to kill these things? Oh! Was that me exploding? I'm pretty sure that was me exploding. Come here. You silly little cool fiends. I gotta say these are the toughest cool fiends I've ever fought. And I'm hoping one of these axes... Oh, is a whole lot better. Uh, resource costs? I don't know. I kind of prefer the magical spear. I do. What? Ten of the fallen? That's super rare. Scavengers are ugly, pathetic I love this one. survive off of carrion and <laughs> corpses, too diseased to attract any other carnivores. I did once meet a raggedy fellow who claimed that he had trained one of the beasts to bring him large rats to eat. But I'm sure the story is utter nonsense. I love it. <laughs> Some of those are just so good. It doesn't matter how many times you listen to it. It remains so, so good. I... I want to meet that voice actor one day. That's it. I'm going to make it one of my life goals. Abd al-Hazir. We need to get together. We really do. Perhaps record a couple of videos together. That'd be amazing. I'd do that. And this place, ah, uh, it also has been too long. I think I've only found this place once or twice in my entire Diablo existence. I was able to trace some carrion bats back to one of their nests. What I found shocked me. The nest itself is a living organism. A mature bat that has been mutated by the darkest of magics. I no longer doubt that demonic forces have corrupted these creatures. Pretty grim, old Kane. Pretty grim. Huh? What is that? A rare crafting material. Wait, so crafting materials can drop from mobs now? That's new, isn't it? Kind of sure that's new. That's also new and it's definitely better. I mean, I like it. It would be more satisfying, for the most part, at least if the mobs dropped yellow items instead of yellow crafting materials, but I can see how it would be good. Because later on... Whoa, 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 look at those explosions. Okay, so this is really good AoE. If there are multiple mobs wailing away at you, then it seems to proc a whole lot more. But as I was saying, at higher levels, I guess it makes more sense wanting or needing the crafting materials instead of the items. It's just much easier. Although you could just disenchant the items anyway to get the crafting materials, you're cutting out the middleman by just picking up the materials themselves. I would have loved to have heard... A journal entry from this dude. Holy damage. Huh. That would have been fascinating. How cool would it have been if this was like Bishibosh or something? 
and he had a little journal talking about how the adventurers keep coming into his little field, wrecking his parties, or whatever it is he's doing there, <laughs> ruining his life. <laughs> that would have been great. I mean, they could have just made it incredibly tough to understand. I didn't need to understand anything he says. Seriously. Shouldn't you hear the guy talking? That's all I want. A guy can dream. Those gloves look kind of cool. Huh? So they're proper plate gloves. How do I not have wrists yet? Oh well. Gotta complain about that. Soon I'll start crafting. And hopefully... I'll be able to make some really good stuff. I was getting confused for a second because I didn't think there was going to be a passageway down here. But it does in fact say level 1, so there must be a level 2. And I somehow traveled in the right direction. Went down these little passages in the right order. Now I'm going to find the down there. Satisfying. I should be using blind a lot more than I am. Ring. Oh, someone found a legendary ring. That's incredibly lucky. I want to pick a legendary up. Go on, loot 2.0. Make it happen. And soon. I can't even remember what one finds down here. Thus far, it has been well worth it, though. Empowered. Oh, come on, teleporters. And what's with all the teleporters? Seems to be all I'm finding here. Not ready yet. Come on, guys. Let us do battle. Is it always the last one that drops the magical items? So many goodies to disenchant. What? So, that's leather. I'm sorry, but that don't look like no leather. That's a whole lot of metal. For it to be leather. Huh. Fine. Leather it is then, I won't question it. Maybe they haven't completed the models yet. Maybe they've still got like one model on two different types of items or something like that. I don't know. Maybe they just can't match the icons with the actual in-game model. Maybe that's too much of a mish. There could be various different reasons. All I'm saying is that that doesn't look like that. Where are those little... Uh, oh, oh! Feathers on the collar. Nightmarish. I'm getting the worst possible opponents the whole time. Although teleport is kind of easy. Nightmarish is just a pain. Leather pants. Mine's better. Ooh, the chest. This is the first resplendent chest I find on this character. Isn't it? So it better be good. What? Only two? Fine. Gold pickup. Oh, a helmet. Right. It does look kind of cool. I mean, even a max level crusader. I could see it working with armor like this on. It looks good. It just straight up looks good. And it's also nice to see that this Nephilim glory isn't exclusive to... Like, level 60 plus characters. That would have been boring, you know? If you have to get to max level before you can make use of something as cool as that. Okay, something tells me this character is going to be amazingly good at dealing with big groups of enemies. I mean, sure, something like a frozen orb would rip that to shreds even quicker. But come on. During the last days of King Leoric's reign, even the skeletons of the ancient dead could not rest. They took up their broken armor and weapons once more, ready to cut down anything that yet drew breath. Though wasted and fragile, these creatures possess a twisted huh? cleverness that makes them quite formidable. <laughs> I feel so bad, Shroom. It's like a mommy pudge with her baby tun tummy snakes and they were all just chilling here and I interrupted whatever they were doing and I slayed a lot of them that's kind of rude <laughs> oh. a 
They're so cute though. I didn't know that their minions were the actual snakes or worms or whatever they are. I don't even think I've seen that before. Clearly I've not played through this game enough. Oh, right now I'm rectifying that issue. Because it is an issue. Gotta spend a whole lot more time in Diablo. And that shield, wow. I like it. Well, not the shield itself, but the fact that it's burning with righteous fire. That's kind of cool. Come on. So I could shortcut all of this, but I want to find the Blacksmith's Apprentice soon. But what I might do is I might just head into the cemetery, get the waypoint, and then go back, find the dude, and thus save some time. Sounds good to me. And then, let us also have a look at Shattered Shield. Hmm. What does it do? The shield shatters into other smaller fragments, hitting more enemies. The extra enemies take 450% weapon damage. Huh? That's a lot. Let's give it a try. Hey guys, take my shield back. Whoa. So I didn't see the actual fragments there. Oh, there they go. But I saw the damage. That's for sure. I like it. I mean, I like the charge aspect of it anyway. So I don't see why I shouldn't just use this a little bit. These mobs just don't stop coming. I'll use it. At least until I find something new. Get access to something new. It sucks a little bit that there's that delay. I mean, I right click. What I'm going to do is I'm going to deliberately right click incredibly loudly so you can hear and see the delay. So here we go. Listen. <laughs> it's fine though. I mean, it's not that much and it's not making it any less pleasant for me. But the delay is there. If this was a competitive game, I'd be losing just because of that. And that's a fact. And I suppose if I was playing hardcore or something, that could be a bit of a hindrance. But I'm not. So it isn't. Ugh. All this fire, all these explosions. Kinda cool. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head straight back down. And... Usually, the apprentice is over here. I mean, I have been through this area a couple of times, and that is generally the vicinity that you should be searching in. And then on this side, so along this edge, you find like one or two groups of special mobs. That's usually how it happens. But he could be on this side too. And he probably is. Great. The blacksmith's apprentice. Yet another innocent falls. Shame. What? <laughs> I just got all sorts of stuck on that little campfire. Huh? Did that always used to do friendly fire? I mean, that guy just took all his buddies out. I guess it doesn't make sense that it wouldn't harm them. So now, I didn't get the waypoint, which was kind of silly of me. And I still don't have my town portal stone. But... You know what, we can just skim the area. So I'm going to gather a bunch of mobs together here. Let them just kill themselves on my shield while I run. And then deal with them all at the same time. Because AoE is fun. Who doesn't like AoE? Oh, look at that blind. So good. Oh, what? <laughs> so much damage. Oh. Really? Here? My studies indicate that a high-level cleric of the Zakarum named Akan began to sense the corruption that was eating away at the heart of his faith. He knew this corruption would eventually destroy his little church, and that he must take action. After much prayer, Akan hit upon the idea of an order of crusades. What? Did that just end there? That was a little bit abrupt. He didn't even finish saying the word Crusaders properly. I want to hear more. 
Especially if he's gonna be doing all the narrating. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> fine. That's just fine. So this is it. I am kind of proud of myself, proud of the fact that I did this reasonably quickly. And now, when we do get to the waypoint, we can actually, and this is gonna be fun, go back to town, salvage a couple of things, and hopefully craft a couple of items too. Because before, the crafted items were a whole lot better. No two ways about it. They were just better. Superior to the stuff that you're picking up. So, it would be fun, I guess, to be able to get some nice gear, own it up. So this is one of the bounty locations here. And I would say probably the easiest one that I've spotted. One of the bounties is usually in the cemetery right here. And you basically come through the waypoint. The dude's standing between these gravestones over here. All these gravestones on this side. You kill him and it's done. You get an amazing reward. I'm going to be testing the bounties out soon. So you guys can check back here soon for that. Right now though, it is town time. Oh, this is beautiful. This map makes a lot more sense. I feel like the Act 5 map is a little bit confusing. I didn't quite understand what was going on there. Your apprentice was found wanting. I'm sorry. Fool boy. Hope for the worst and you will not be disappointed. Thank you for the news. Okay. Was it not meant to be a reward? And where is the little keepsake box that used to lie here? Hmm. Okay. It's time to salvage. Oh. Okay, at least I can salvage a good bunch of them. Not all of them, but a good bunch. And I like the balance here. So I get to sell a few, which is good. It's good that I'm selling a few. Goods you might be in. Because if my gold keeps going down and not up, then that could be a problem. I guess. Hmm. Now. Highest usable. Oh, all. I was about to say where are all the items. 7.1, 7.7. I wouldn't mind getting the flail. Oh. Or the shield. But right now I need shoulders and wrists. So, perhaps we should wait for that. Hmm. I don't want to use all my materials and make something that's just average. Perhaps not even an upgrade. That doesn't make sense. And it seems like... Most of the materials I need... I still need to find. They've sort of entirely redone the crafting system. I'm gonna put these in here. Although that can just as well go there. That's it. And that is Sadie. Also going to be it for this video. You can check back here soon for more. Give it a like, share it, and do all that other good stuff. Most importantly, though. Happy rolling with Juniper the Crusader. Happy that.